So good afternoon uh, to whoever you are from wherever you're watching from. My name's Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, before we jump in, sipping on a little Nulu. This is part of their experimental cask series, or finished series, excuse me. And this is bourbon whiskey finished in maple syrup barrels. So cheers. <clears throat> so the fragrance at hand is from Milestone, and it is King Fabulous. Now, this is obviously and blatantly a clone of Fucking Fabulous by Tom Ford uh, you know, in his private, private blend line. I have uh, been so elated uh, walking into uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx and seeing these Tom Ford clones pop up because for $15, $16, it is the best bargain in fragrance right now, at least in, in my eyes. I mean, what you're getting, I mean, they are so close to the real thing that it is, uh, I can't justify paying them, paying them the money anymore for the real thing. I used to own Oudwood back in the day. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I used to work at a Nordstrom and, you know, the Tom Ford private blend line was on my floor. And so I was always over there checking out, you know, fragrances, new releases, all that. <clears throat> I remember when Fucking Fabulous dropped. I was still working there at the time. Um, but I tell you, for $15, I mean, these things could be priced at 50 Only I would, would bat an eye, you know, if this was packaged differently and not, you know, obviously a blatant clone. But, but anyway, so when I get out of this, I'm just going to spray this in the air real quick so y'all can see the atomizer. So as you can see, it's pressurized. Um... A constant stream of juice and from what I remember of fucking fabulous I um, mean I was up at Nordstrom a couple weeks ago and I always go and smell you know, new new fragrances old fragrances all that sort of stuff that's still there I go see people they used to work with and talk to <clears throat> and uh, y'all this is so freaking close I mean once again I don't see a point in paying I mean because this one uh, side note this is more expensive than the other 50 milliliter bottles <clears throat> that you would find, um, you know, in the Tom Ford private blend line. Um, this has always been more expensive. It's kind of like um, how Ventus is a little more expensive than the other bottles in the, in the Creed line. This is the same thing with, with fucking Fabulous. It's always just a little bit more expensive. And honestly, I was never just the biggest fan of it. <clears throat> Definitely didn't see why it was more expensive than Tuscan leather or tobacco of the knee, which I thought were um, far superior in terms of what I like in a fragrance. Um, but, you know, it is it is this Tonka leather. Um, it's kind of green. I sprayed it on my arm a few minutes ago. and It's a good smelling fragrance, don't get me wrong. Um, and if, you know, if you went to a... A uh, Nordstrom or um, a Neiman Marcus and have smelled fucking fabulous, but don't want to pay that. Go pick this up. Go go to your local rack store, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Try to find this. <clears throat> I can't guarantee it's going to be there. Uh, most of the time, you're going to see um, the Tuscan leather and ombre leather clones. Um, but I mean, I was up in uh, at a ra random Marshalls in Illinois last night and picked up this. Found this. I found. Uh, it's called Red Cherry, which is the Lost Cherry clone, and also found Mancera's Red Tobacco clone there. Um, so you just kind of got to look around and hunt. You know, that's kind of part of the fun of it. But um, all in all, man, I'm not gonna get into all the notes and all that sort of stuff. I mean, really, like, there's not a whole lot to say. If you haven't smelled fucking foul, just go go to a store that hasn't smelled it. Get, get your nose on it. But from what I remember, and the scent profile, and kind of the vibe of this. That fucking fabulous is supposed to have this has it, uh, so I would not hesitate. I mean, if you see a Tom Ford dupe from Milestone, just pick it up. It's fifteen bucks. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed at all, regardless if it smells. Um, even though I do believe it smells close to the the real thing, even if it doesn't, to you they are uh, first off great smelling on their own. They perform very well, and uh, I mean, yeah, if you just want a, a nice. Nice fragrance for $15 is what you're going to get here. So, um, yeah. Uh, I 
I do think it's, it is hilarious how blatant they are um, with the copying. There's got to be a lawsuit there somewhere. Um, but one more thing, quick tip. If you're in one of these stores, uh, if you're a guy, don't just go to the men's section. Go to the women's section as well. And that's where you're going to find a lot of these dupes is on the women's side. Uh, that's a little cheat code uh, from, from someone who has been to a lot of these stores fragrance hunting. So anyway, that is uh, fucking fabulous. Y'all take care.